Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at column addition. Column addition is how we add numbers together. Here we've got a four digit number and a four digit number and the best way to add this together is by using column addition. So I'm going to rewrite these two numbers so they look like this. So I've got the one number on the top, one number on the bottom and I've lined them up so that the place value is respected. The units column is on top of each other, the tens column is lined up, and the hundreds column is lined up, and of course the thousands column are lined up on top of each other. Now, I'm going to start adding these together step by step, starting on the right side. I'm going to do 3 plus 4 is 7. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 plus 9 is 15 and I'm writing this at the bottom. However, the five stays at the bottom, the one goes at the top, because the one represents the 10, and that means it's going to move over to another column, because it's no longer just one digit, it's two digits. So the 15, you write the five at the bottom, and the one, you carry over to the next column. One plus two plus three is six. We've got the final answer is 6,567. 6, 6,567. That's example one. Let's look at example two now. This says 76,924 plus 590. We're going to add 4 plus 0 to get 4. 2 plus 9 is 11. We carry over the 1. So we add a 1 down here. We carry over the 1. 1 plus 9 plus 5 is 15. Put the 5 there and put the 1 up top because we're carrying it over. 1 plus 6 is 7. We write the 7 down there. And then we've just got a 7 here with an invisible 0. 7 plus 0 is 7. And the final answer is 77,000. 514. Finally, let's look at example two, and this one has decimals. Whenever you've got decimals, the easiest way to line up numbers with decimals is to line up the decimal column. So I've wrote, written this here, 13.47 plus 5.86. I'm going to add those together. 7 plus 6 is 13. Carry the 1 over. 1 plus 4 plus 8 is 13 carry the 1 over. 1 plus 3 plus 5 is going to be 19, that's uh, 9, sorry, 9, like that. And I've written the decimal point as well uh, where it should be. Finally, I've just got a 1 here. 1 plus 0 is 1, we've just got 1. The final answer is 19.33, and we've done. That's the final answer. Okay. That's the end of the examples in today's video. It's now time for you to practice. I would like you to pause the video now and try this yourself. So get some pen and paper, write these additions as a column addition and add it up slowly, slowly, carefully, carefully to make sure you get the right answer. When you are finished, you can press play and I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. Did you get it correct? Let me know how well you did in the comments below. Thank you for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths and to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We're covering lots of maths from all of primary school and high school and you can find more resources on advancedmaths.com to help you perfect your maths. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.